Ross system, the criteria, effective striking, grappling, aggressiveness, defense, and cage control. So if you thought De La Cruz won that round, the judge's intervention there made it a 10-8 round for Omar De La Cruz. Yeah, uh, at this point, I really think Victor Meza has fight. one option. I got to knock out De La Cruz. Five minutes to go in a welterweight quarterfinal. Victor Meza against Omar De La Cruz. And Victor Meza with an undefeated record on the line. Appears like he's got some work to do, Jay. Yeah, absolutely. At this point, the only way he really can win this fight now is, is by knocking out or submitting De La Cruz. And at this point, Meza looks like he's in deep on a double. But at this point, it doesn't look like it's that probable, but anything can happen. A lot of times anything does happen in these type of fights. You see a lot of upsets, a lot of fights that go the other way at the last second. Actually, run That up. is not legal. That is One a point. knee to the head no. of a grounded no, 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 opponent. No, 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 no. Omar De La Cruz had a knee on, on the on. canvas, and Victor Meza no, is docked point. a point for the One knee point. to the head. So now that's twice One point. that Victor Meza has been docked a point here, and Omar De La Cruz will be given, I believe, five minutes or as much time as he needs to uh, to get right. Do believe he gets up to five minutes if he needs to. And, uh, you know, I don't think that was intentional by Meza. It's just being involved in the heat of battle. So let's take a look at real quick here the uh, the action going up towards the noggin here And right here you see he's still got one knee on the ground That's blatant Jay and it was just a knee right to the face. Is that not blatant? You know, I think it He might have thought that he was up a little bit more and a lot of times a great way to throw a knee is when an opponent is coming on their way up I think he had an opportunity to knee him if he was down more. I, I, I don't want to say it was blatant But it definitely was a, uh, a disregard for just keeping in mind where your opponent is well, it is a fine line in mixed martial arts in Japan. You are allowed to knee to the head of a grounded opponent. Not so here stateside, certainly not in the Bellator Fighting Championships. And I gotta be honest, what my eyes tell me, I thought it was actually the second time that Victor Meza had kneed Omar De La Cruz when he was on the canvas. And uh, it's good to see Dan Mergliata intervening there and docking a point against Victor Meza. De La Cruz just taking a minute there. He gets up to five minutes again to relax. The doctor checking him out, making sure you're okay. Yeah, the Cruz looks to be okay. I think at this point, Meza really only has really one option now. Now he's officially lost a decision because a 10A round, a 10A round, and then I'm assuming the first round is going to be a 10-9. Meza needs to throw together some heavy leather if he wants to win this fight. And much respect for Omar De La Cruz, not belaboring the issue, not taking the full five minutes. He felt recovered, and he gets right back in there and ready to go, right? Yeah. Oh, and a big left hand. It down goes De La Cruz. De La Cruz jumps in on an ankle lock. De La Cruz showing off the chin a little bit. Some toughness there. You know, you see fights all the time. One guy is dominating the fight constantly, and then in the last 30 seconds or so, that guy just throws up a Hail Mary and connects. As a matter of fact, Mesa's, uh, one of Mesa's guys that he trains with, uh, Drew Fickett, was fighting Josh Koscheck, and uh, by all accounts, Josh Koscheck was dominating that fight against Drew Fickett, and uh, Drew threw a, a roundhouse head kick and knocked him out with about 10 seconds left, so if there's one camp that knows what it's like to come from a behind fight and win, it's definitely Southwest MMA. Well, and if you're in the Omar De La Cruz corner, you got 25 large staring you in the face. All you need to do, really, is survive this third round. I know De La Cruz is going to try to press the action here, but I think perhaps the better strategy might be to just do whatever it takes to get that decision and move on to the next round. You know, I don't really know how conscious the fighters are when they're in there about, hey, you know, I know that I've won the round. I know that when I'm in that ring, it's you're kind of in a state of zen. And as you can tell right now, De La Cruz is working really hard still. I mean, which is just an attest a testament to, to his his work ethic and him wanting to finish this fight and wanting to do it in an aggressive fashion. Well, he took the big blow earlier in the round and was able to survive it and uh, looking to survive in advance here in the first round of the Bellator welterweight tournament. Some great grappling been shown by Dela Cruz here. Again, land into the body. The crowd sort of starting to get a little bit restless. Looking for more, certainly out of Victor Meza. That unblemished record in a ton of danger of suffering its first blemish. And you know, I thought Jason at the beginning of the third round, maybe Victor Meza had conserved energy in the second round, came out guns a blazing at the beginning of the third round, and, and now he seems to have sort of resorted to that laying on the canvas and not doing a whole lot. 
I think he's just tired. I don't think he's necessarily sure. resorted sure. to it. I think it's just fatigue sets in, and he knows that he's kind of lost this fight outside of a mir miraculous stand-up or something that's going to happen here. But De La Cruz is keeping it really busy on the ground. He's, he's working. He's throwing punches. I think the only chance that uh, Mesa has is to kind of try to stalemate him out and get a stand-up and then throw some heavy leather. Otherwise, De La Cruz is going to win this fight on all three judges' scorecards. You see the Mesa corner imploring their fighter to get off his back and, and try to score some points here. Again, you mentioned his only shot at this point is finishing his opponent and uh, certainly not on the right side of things at this stage of round three as we move under 90 seconds to go in our opening welterweight quarterfinal. I'm not psychic, but I think Mesa's gonna throw a whole lot of right hands and a whole lot of left hands. Oh, high kick just didn't get enough on that. Yeah, barely grazed there, and De La Cruz kept trucking forward. Mesa's really trying to create some space. Oh, good leg trip again. We've seen those leg trips a couple times tonight. Great takedowns. How about the Taekwondo guy taking down the wrestler with these? What's up with that? Doesn't happen every day. Not at the Taekwondo schools I've been to. Well, the second round lulled at times, but Omar De La Cruz in complete control of the Bellator cage at this point as we go 40 seconds to go in round number three. Again, the winner here moves on to the semifinals of the Bellator Welterweight Tournament with $25,000 in hand and a chance to win another $50,000 in the final four. Yeah, De La Cruz is 23, 22, 21 seconds away from winning this fight. I don't really see any way that Mesa's gonna get anything going here in the last 15 seconds. The 29-year-old De La Cruz doing the Dominican Republic crowd here as he controls the fight on the ground, and Victor Mesa just doesn't have enough, it would appear, to, uh, to mount any sort of threat against De La Cruz. Couple late punches. Yeah, too, certainly Mesa. don't like to see that after two violations in the fight. Victor Mesa now throwing a couple punches after the bell had clearly gone off. We'll keep it right here. Omar De La Cruz looking like maybe he was stung a little bit, but his corner lifting him up, and, and we don't have the decision yet, but it would appear rightfully so. Omar De La Cruz, unless my eyes have really deceived me, will be moving on to the semifinals. Well, yeah, there's no way that De La Cruz can lose this fight now because, you know, the first round, I got to say, was a 10 9 round, but the second two rounds, getting a point deducted away, be really difficult for uh, Meza to have anything. Well, not a ton of meaningful action in the third and final round. We will bring you the replay. Jay, take it away. See, so we get the replay here where just that big right hand drops him to the mat, and that was his one opportunity to really finish that. And if we look at this, uh, De La Cruz just rolls up on top. That was really the only prolific action that five minutes of a uh, fight. Pretty impressed though, Jason, overall with Omar De La Cruz? You know, absolutely. You know, De La Cruz, he's a three and one fighter fighting a guy who's nine and oh. There's a reason Victor Meza was nine and oh. Um, he's, he's a guy that has, has the experience in the cage, pushes the action and knows how to win. So even though De La Cruz wasn't able to finish Meza, he definitely put on a fantastic display of jujitsu takedowns and controlled the fight start to finish. Well, De La Cruz, we mentioned a full-time medical student. He may need to take some time away from the books now to continue this mixed martial arts career. It would appear he is moving on to the semifinals of the Bellator welterweight tournament after dispatching Victor Meza. We will wait on the judge's decision again. A point dock to Meza in the second round for grabbing the gloves and in the third round for a knee to the head of a grounded opponent. So you have to figure rounds two and three, likely 10-8 rounds for Omar De La Cruz. By most indications, came in as the underdog. Let's send it inside for the official announcement. Damas y caballeros, después de tres asaltos, los jueces Crosby y Colón están de acuerdo entregando tarjetas idénticas de 30 a 24. Ladies and gentlemen, after four or three rounds, judges Crosby and Colón are in agreement with identical scorecards of 30 to 24. Y el juez Blatnick anotó 30 a 25. Judge Blatnick scores it 30 to 25. For the winner, by way of unanimous decision, para el vencedor, por decisión unánime, Omar de You can be 
pretty sure the flags, Jay, are waving in the Dominican Republic. Again, this guy with sort of a country on his shoulders in terms of the mixed martial arts landscape. And really, even though the action stalled at times there in the second round, really an impressive performance. Omar De La Cruz, a guy to keep an eye on here at 170.